So I've been doing this for a long time. I started my career when I was 16, 17. I won't call it a career. I started in the hospitality business when I was 16 years old. So mm, that's 30 some you know, 30 some years. Uh, so I, I've learned a lot about the hotel business. I work with Four Seasons, St. Regis, Weston, um, W Hotels, Luxury Collection, launch a, a new hotel company twice, uh, three times, SLS, Proper, and, and now uh, One and Treehouse. Hotel business is very special. But what makes it special is the experiences the guests can have. It is really easy to duplicate an experience in a guest room. You can buy the best mattress. You can buy the most expensive sheets. You can make the room soundproof. You can add music and great lighting. But it's not rocket science. It's pretty you know, simple to do. What makes the experience different in a hotel business is the food and beverage. That's our show. Uh, that's really the entertainment that we give to our guests. And every luxury hotel that is worth something has an amazing food and beverage venue. Name me one hotel that is known around the world as one of the best without a great bar, without a great restaurant, without a great rooftop, without a great meeting and banquet facility. It's an integral part of what we do. That's why some of the uh, limited service hotels without food and beverage never get named uh, as one of the best hotels in the neighborhood. So with that said, Understanding food and beverage and understanding how to orchestrate that show is very, very important. Um, a great uh, mentor of anyone who has ever worked in food and beverage at the Four Seasons Hotels is a ge gentleman named Alphonse Conrad. He was vice president of food and beverage for Four Seasons Hotels for many years. And he used to always say, a great director of rooms who runs the rooms division of a hotel, can bring the hotel 80% profitability. He said the worst director of rooms ever, ever in the history of mankind, can still bring you 65% profitability. But on the food and beverage side, a great director of food and beverage will bring you 25 to 30% profitability. A really bad one will make you lose money. So what is important and how this program can help make better hospitality leaders is where the leakage in profit is usually in the food and beverage department. You don't make as much money. You can't afford to make any mistakes. You can't afford to lose an opportunity for additional revenue. So as I look, uh, I, I hire from both sides. I hire salespeople as general managers. I hire rooms people as general managers. But the financially oriented people are mo mainly from food and beverage because there's so many different matrix that we consider in a food and beverage environment where a linen or a shampoo doesn't expire, but your fish and lobster will only last you two days. So it makes you a better leader. It makes you a more conscious financial person, and it will make you a more, more well-rounded well executive within the hotel business if you know your food and beverage.